This program will help you become familiar with using Hoopla to download ebooks, audiobooks, music, TV shows, and movies. With your Newington Library card, you can access thousands of movies, television shows, music albums, audiobooks, ebooks, and comics. You can also access Hoopla with a library card from a different town library as long as your home library subscribes to Hoopla. So you can check with them to find that out. Hoopla is available as an app for mobile devices and through online browser access on your computer at hoopladigital.com. All titles on Hoopla are available to borrow for instant streaming on your computer or temporary downloading to your devices. You can borrow up to 10 titles per month with your Newington card with no waiting and no late fees. Other libraries may have different limits for how many titles you can check out per month, so definitely check with your home library. To start off with, we're going to discuss how to create an account using a personal computer through the browser. The format of Hoopla will look different on different devices, so we were going to start with how it will look in the browser. Visit the library's homepage and access Hoopla through our digital library icon or go directly to hoopladigital.com. Click on Login or Get Started Today at the top of the screen. Once you've done that, this pop-up will appear and you can create your account by using an email address, a password, and your library card number. After that, select Lucy Robinswell's library or your home library if it participates. And if you're using um, Firefox or Safari, you will, may need to install a plugin to play certain videos, which you will be prompted to do. And Hoopla will work on personal computers that use Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer on Windows 8 and up, Chrome, Firefox 8 and up, and Safari. Creating an account on a mobile device is slightly different, so we'll go over that as well. So mobile devices would include an iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, Android phone, Kindle, or a tablet. First, you'll open the App Store of your device. The picture on the left, for an example, shows the Apple App Store, but other devices are similar. In the App Store, search for Hoopla, tap on the result for Hoopla, which is the icon here, and then tap on the Get or Install button next to the search result for Hoopla. If you see that that button reads open, instead the device already has Hoopla installed and then you can just open it from there. So open the app and click sign up, select Lucy Robbins Wells Library or type in the library name or search or select your home library. Create your account by using an email address, password and library card number like we just discussed for the browser. Titles on Hoopla return automatically after designated periods of time, and there aren't any late fees ever for titles. If a title returns before you are finished with it, you can then immediately recheck it out as long as you have remaining borrows for that month. Also, if a title is returned and then you go and check it out again um, for audiobooks and ebooks, you can resume from where you last left off when it was returned and it should keep your place from your last checkout. The loan periods are audiobooks and ebooks 21 days, music seven days, and movies and TV show episodes three days. So this is just when they will automatically return for you to then have to recheck them out if you need to. So first we're going to discuss navigating Hoopla using a browser on your personal computer. As I said before, the features of Hoopla just look different depending on the device you're using, so we will go over using the browser first. There are several ways to find titles on Hoopla. You can type in a title, author name, or keyword into the search box at the top of the screen. You can also browse by format if you don't want to look by a specific title, you just know that you want to listen to an audiobook and want to see recommendations. So you can do it that way by clicking on the Browse tab at the top and you'll get a drop down. You can choose from audiobooks, movies, etc. and you will see different groupings of genres 
such as popular, featured, and more that you can browse through. Once you have selected a format from the Browse drop-down menu, you can scroll down the page and find the Genres and Collections button. If you click on that, you will see, as in the image on the right, that it will show you many different genres and collections of the format that you have chosen, so you can narrow your browsing down by that as well. When you found a title you would like to check out, click on Borrow. And once the title is borrowed, the button will change and it will say play or read. And you can click that to start watching, listening, or reading. You can also click on the heart icon at the top right of the screen there to favorite an item. This will automatically add it to a favorites list that you can refer back to later. And we'll talk about accessing that in a moment. The My Hoopla drop-down menu at the top of the screen allows you to navigate various features of your account. By clicking on it, you will get the drop-down menu that you see. If you click on Currently Borrowed, you can see the titles that you currently have checked out, and then click on any one to start interacting with it. Also in this drop-down tab, you can view your borrow history and see the titles that you have checked out in the past that have been returned. And you can also click on favorites to see those items that you have favorited like we talked about a moment ago. Now we're going to look at how the various titles and formats of those titles will look in your browser when you are using them. First, this is how an audiobook will appear when you open it. At the top here, you will be able to see what chapter you are currently on. You can bookmark a spot in the audiobook that you want to remember and maybe go back to. You can see how much time is left either in the entire book or in the chapter. As you can see on the bar below this, there are 23 seconds left in this chapter. This middle circle button allows you to play and pause the audiobook. These curved arrows on either side allow you to skip forward or backward 30 seconds in the book. You can skip forward and backward by chapter. And you can drag your finger along this bar to skip through the book as well. Down here at the bottom, you can click on chapters to see how many chapters are in the book and if they have chapter titles. You can click bookmark to see what you have bookmarked and you can adjust the speed that the audiobook is read. The default speed shown here is one time speed, but of course if you want to get through the book faster and can keep up with hearing it faster, you can definitely change that. This is how a book will appear when you check out an ebook. Use the arrows on the left and right side of the page or the side arrows on your computer keyboard to move forward or backward through the book. You can also drag the bar at the bottom of the screen to skip through the pages. And you can see what page you are on, how many pages are in the book. You can also click on the horizontal lines at the top left of the screen when you are reading a book and see extra options, which are here in the middle. Click the icon on the top right of the screen to bookmark your page so you can go back to where you last left off. This is how it will look when you are listening to a music album. At the top left here, you will see the current song you're listening to. and that is highlighted down in the middle there as well. You can minimize the player view with this small down arrow. You can adjust the volume up on the top right here and close the player. In the middle here, the circle button allows you to play and pause what you're listening to, and the arrows on either side allow you to skip tracks. On the left, these arrows will allow you to have a song play on repeat and the crossed arrows allow you to shuffle the album so that the songs will play in a random order. And here, down at the bottom, is the track list of the album you're listening to. For movies and TV shows, this is how it will look. There is a help option in the player. 
There are audio settings. You can close the player by clicking the X. Use the triangle to play and pause. Use the curved arrows to skip forward or backward 10 seconds. You can see the time that, he's, that has elapsed in the show or movie you're watching, as well as how long the actual show or movie is. There's a volume button and a full screen option. If you would like to return a title early before the automatic return date, so just so that it no longer shows up in your current checkouts, you can click on the title and then click on the Return Now button there in gray. Next, we'll see how these formats will look when you are using a mobile device. Again, that is an iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, Android phone, Kindle, or tablet. There are, once again, several ways to find titles using the Hoopla app. At the bottom of your screen, using a app on a device, you will see this bar that is pictured here with options. So if you tap the magnifying glass, that is the search icon, and you will type in an author title or keyword in the search box that appears. And once you've entered all your information, click on the search button on your uh, devices keyboard or click on any search result that appears below the search box as you type. Also at the bottom of the screen are options to browse by format so you can choose video, music, or books and see options for each of those formats. So for many of these tabs, once you've clicked one of them, you can scroll down to see options like we saw before, such as popular, featured, recommended, and then if you scroll down, you can also find that genres and collections button. And if you click on that, you can see more genres and collections and categories to browse through. When you have found a title that you would like to check out, click the borrow button. And then that will change and you will see the option to play or read the title. The My Hoopla icon at the bottom bar allows you to navigate various features of your account in the same way that on the browser it was at the top of the screen. So once you click on the My Hoopla icon, you can click on the Borrowed option to see the titles that you currently have checked out, and then click on any title to interact with it. From the My Hoopla icon, you can also view how many borrows you have remaining for the month. You can also view your borrow history and see titles that have been returned previously, and you can click on titles you have favorited. Here is what an audiobook will look like in the app. Minimize the audio view using this down arrow. Create a bookmark. Skip forward or back 15 seconds in the audiobook. Use the circle button to play or pause. Use these arrow buttons to skip ahead or back by chapters. View the chapters that are in the book view bookmarks you have made, and adjust the audio speed. And like before, you can also see how much time is left in the chapter versus in the book and drag your finger along that bar to skip through the book as well. Here is the ebook view in an app. Click the X to exit the ebook. Click the magnifying glass to search through the ebook. Bookmark a page. Edit how the font appears. You can view chapters, bookmarks, and highlights here. Drag your finger along the bar here if you want to skip ahead or backward in the book that way. But you can also swipe your finger across the screen to move forward or backward in the book. This is the most efficient way, especially if you only want to skip one page at a time. So if you move your screen from the right to the left hand side, you will be moving forward in the book. And if you swipe from left to right on your screen, you will move backward in the book. Down here at the bottom, you will also see how many pages you have left in the chapter, what chapter you're on, and how many pages are in the book as well as what page you are on. Here's the music view. If you want to minimize that, click this down arrow. 
adjust the volume at the bottom, play or pause, skip ahead or back a track, and skip through the song by dragging your finger along this bar. If you swipe your finger from left to right across the screen, you will see the track list. And if you swipe your finger from right to left, you will be given the repeat and shuffle options. Lastly, movies and shows will appear this way. Use the X to close out, minimize the screen here, adjust your volume, choose a zoom or full screen option, drag your finger along the bar to skip through the movie or TV show, or use the curved arrows to skip ahead or back by 15 seconds. Click the triangle to play or pause and see caption options. Hoopla also offers bonus borrows, usually periodically and by month. So keep an eye out for this feature, which you will see the icon for on the main page when it is being offered. Bonus borrows are select titles that Hoopla designates that will not count towards your monthly borrows. So when you see the icon show up, you can click on that and you'll be taken to a page that sh gives you titles that once you check out will not take away a borrow for that month. Hoopla also has many Acorn TV titles available. If you want to access these, you can click on Browse at the top of the screen and choose Television. This is in a browser, but if you were in an app, you would click on TV at the bottom bar there that we showed and then browse genres and collections. And then click on Acorn TV to access the large collection of Acorn TV titles on Hoopla. If you have any questions about this presentation or any other questions about Hoopla, please call or email the library to set up a one-on-one -on -one virtual tech help appointment with a librarian.